Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Hey, kids. I'm Q the Costa Rican, and today we're back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ranked battle stadium singles 3v3s here in Regulation G. And today we're using Calyrex Shadow Rider, otherwise known as Calyrex Grass Rider, otherwise known as the best Pokemon in the entire game, competitively speaking because it's competitively broken. If you guys are new to the channel, click that subscribe button, like the video, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think is the most broken restricted legendary and why it is in fact this horse plus a little dude on the back. Regardless, we did use Calyrex Shadow Rider a few weeks ago at the beginning of Regulation G in the first season of it, um, but we revised it a little bit. I've learned that a lot of the ground types, ironically enough, uh, do really well against Calyrex Shadow Rider, M mainly Ting Lu, and Ursaluna Blood Moon, and of course, we have Grass Coverage available to us, and I just have never ran it on there. Uh, regardless, Grass Knot does more damage to both of them than Energy Ball does, so that's why we're running Grass Knot in case you were wondering. Um, also, uh, I just realized, I thought I was Spell Tag still, but I'm definitely Focus Sash on the Calyrex. If you guys want to check out all the intricacies of the EV spreads that are located in the Pokepace in the description down below. Really, the only Pokemon that's the same on this team or at least just the fact that it's the same Pokemon from the last Calyrex Shadow Rider team we used is Calyrex Shadow Rider and Blood Moon Ursa Luna. I believe every other Pokemon is actually different, which is really, really fun. We're using the same bulky Ogre Pond that we used in the other the video from the other day on the Dusk main team. We have Choice Scarf uh, Single Striker Shifu because I do believe that Choice Scarf Single Striker Shifu is very, very strong in this meta. It also has really good type synergy with Calyrex Shadow Rider being a ground type or not ground type my bad being a dark type I just woke up forgive me um but it also just has really good team synergy because Calyrex Shadow Rider kind of tells your opponent that hey you should be bringing a lot of your specially defensive Pokemon if you want to try and deal with Calyrex Shadow Rider or Shifu attacks on the physical side and takes advantage of that so that's really good they're a really good duo and the last but not least Blood Moon Ursa Luna as like the main trio is why I'm saying last but not least uh, then we have Archaladon as a sturdy cut stat, pretty much kind of lead type of thing where you're going to get up Stealth Rocks, you might be Thunder Waving stuff, you might be just chipping things down with your Dual Stab. I didn't have, well I didn't have, I didn't take the time to change its Terra Typing, for whatever reason I just left it at Steel. More often than not, you don't want to Terrestrialize Archaladon anyways, you kind of want to save it for an endgame Calyrex Sweep or an endgame uh, or Shifu Sweep. Or even Blood Moon Ursa Luna. So mainly, I guess, just to entice me to never, ever have to terrestrialize with our Traladon, no matter the circumstance, I, I I left it as Terra Steel. But definitely Terra Fairy, Terra Ghost, Terra Poison, all that stuff. Those are still pretty good on it. Uh, and the last one, at least, I just threw Iron Moth on the team. This is a speed-boosting Iron Moth. So whether we're in Electric Terrain or, we're in, or, we, or we just get our boost to Energy Boost, we will be raising our speed. Unless the scenario plays out where we get the speed boost... Thanks to like an opposing Maridon's Electric Terrain. And then we get a Fiery Dance Spatak boost. Once the Electric Terrain goes away, our boost energy will be consumed. And then we'll get a Spatak boost instead. But with that scenario, most often than not, will not be playing out. Because if we do bring Iron Moth, it's most likely going to be very early game. Trying to get up T-Spikes to help whittle down our opponent. Opening the door for Calyrex Shadow Rider or Urshifu Single Strike. So regardless, this is the team. Uh, we are going to be taking to try and find some ranked battles here in today's video. Uh, the battles that you are going to be seeing today were all uh, done yesterday on the live stream. If you guys missed it last night, have no fear. I gathered three to four of the what I thought were the better battles, and here they are for you guys. If you guys want to use the team for yourself, the team ID is in the right-hand corner, B-N-K-S-X-C. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the team, as well as any of the new Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. But with that being said, guys, I hope you all like the video. I hope you all subscribe if you're new, and I hope you all enjoy the battles. Oh, God. We're dealing with Shmeargle. Is there a Pokemon? Wait, what if I lead Ghost Horse and just tear grass Nasty Plot and win the fucking game? What are our thoughts on that? I'm going to do it. And then uh, I want to go this. And then Blood Moon looks bad, but it also looks kind of good. Also, the chat's moving so fast. What the fuck? I can't. I, I, I just see it moving. I can't read it right now. Like, low key, that Ozzy was kind of kind of crazy. I'm going to bring you. I don't know. I've used Tailwind Glide Square at one point. Really? 
Okay, what's good, Wyatt? How's it going? Something about that Azu makes me think they're running Sap Sipper. Nah, there's no way. For the Soul Read. Let's see. I mean, if they lead off with the little doggy. They let off with this fucking guy. Wait, does plus two... Does plus two just knock this out through, uh... Through multi-scale? Unless they Terra normal, of course. It does not. Shit. It's kind of a bad position to be in. <laughs> Are they going to Terra normal immediately? I don't know. I'm going to Astro Barrage. Hurricane? Huh? I'm nasty plotting. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Yo, then a Crossman Dustman is a menace? Hell yeah. Free nasty plot. Thank you, Just. Crows run an Ashes Dragonite set? Is that actual factual? This is gonna hurt. I'll oh, do my best move to hit this Gen Pow is fucking Grass Knot. Wait a minute, this is bad. Uh. Hmm. How much do we do to Gen Pow? I assume that Astral Barrage is gonna end up doing more. Oh wow, Astral Barrage kills. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I mean, they're probably Sash as well, but, like, we'll see. Um. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'll just do this. Ash's Dragon, I said, is Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, Hurricane, Draco Meteor. Dragon Dance set up with two special moves. <laughs> I, I respect it. Yeah, Chenpao drops. Let's see if they have Sucker Punch, though. They don't. Do they? Please don't be Sash. Just die. Just die. Let's go. A crit! Crit mattered! It did not. That would be funny if they were running Ash's Dragonite set. That would actually be pretty hilarious. I mean, I've seen a Kirim set that runs Dragon Dance, Freeze, Dry, Icicle, Spear, and shit like that. So, I mean, it, it's definitely possible. I've never seen Q lose these battles, by the way. Yeah. Also, they're naturally faster than me with Zac or with this Zacian, I'm pretty sure. Zacian's naturally faster. Um, so they're adamant. I forgot they still had another Pokemon. Yeah. Oh no, it's not. I'm never mind. They're 148. I'm 150. I thought they were 158. My bad. I'm gonna psychic in case they Terra normal. Battle was canceled. Let's fucking go. I don't understand this person's team so far. I don't understand what they thought was going to happen either. This is a real team. Yeah, I agree. This is a real team. Um, I don't know how to feel about this team. Not going to lie. I'm going to lead Ogre Pond. I'm going to bring you. And then... Blood Moon. They probably lead Glamora, though. But they could also lead Ting Lu. So that's why I want to lead Ogre Pond. That was funny, man. Holy shit. Damn, his day was watching this stream and realized a mistake. Real. First game of Master Ball was a crazy one. Did someone say YouTube short? I did. If that moment could get turned into a YouTube short, that would be lit. Blood Moon eats this team. I agree. Are there any animators here that can turn that into a short? Well, we don't need an animator. We just need someone who knows how to, like, clip shit together. Uh, wait. I'm Spadef. Well, not really Spadef Ogre Pond, but I'm pretty Spadef Ogre Pond. I'm curious how much... Do I kill Flutter? I imagine I do. I don't have a whole lot of attack investment, but... I do. Okay, perfect. Oh, they might be Sash, but I'm not one to care. Thunder Wave! Get out of my game! 
There, there's Focus Sash, by the way. But get out of my fucking game. Me personally, I don't think non-contact moves should also affect Toxic Debris, even if it's physical. I agree with you. I agree wholeheartedly. Hmm. They're gonna do it again, right? Sash two-way flutter. So I run it all the time. I run. I put it on the team, literally all the time, but I never bring it. Not for any like morale, or moral reason. Just because I'm just. I just don't. But yeah, it's it's a very reliable... It wins games. It definitely wins games. I totally get it. Oh, they're switching. I made a no Q. Oh, f why would... Th this is my counter to you, buddy. Thank you, EJ, by the way. Bro, this is my counter to the ghost... What are they doing? This is my counter to you. I'm doing it. This is my counter. Oh, what are they doing? Are they gonna tear a steel? What's happening? This is my counter. This is my ghost horse counter. I mean, it could be AV, I guess. They forgot about Mind's Eye. Trick! Do I struggle the next turn? Does that make me struggle the next turn? Oh, they're going to live because <laughs> of Assault Vest. Okay, that's pretty cool. Not going to lie. That was actually pretty cool. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. If they go back into Fluttermane, they'll die. So. Oh, they're going to tear themselves. That was actually pretty cool. Terra Fairy. Oh, they're gonna Drain and Kiss? <gasps> oh, wait a minute. This is this is actually such a good... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's see how this plays out. Okay. They're gonna get a lot of HP back, though. Uh, I don't know if they die to the next one. Uh... Oh, I'm gonna die to the next one, though. Wow. Did I just get countered? Hold on. Okay, I got my ghost horse in the back still. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. But now they're assault vests. Bro, this game sucks. I'm actually so bad. Wait a minute. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Against Calyrex Shadow. That's insane that they that, that actually this is actually working for them. It's actually crazy. Terra Fairy. Draining Kiss. Um no. I actually I think I lose. I actually I actually low key think I lose. Okay. Do we kill though? I think they get too much HP back. Yeah, I think they're gonna be left on like one. Which is fine though, because then I just I just go into my into my horse after. And then I just win the speed tie, because they're definitely running modest. Yeah, it's actually... I mean, it worked out for them, for sure. They definitely they definitely beat the Ursaluna 1v1. Instead of just running Grass Knot, <laughs> they, they, they ran Choice Scarf Trick. That's so crazy. Alright, but we have, we have our guy here. I have an assault vest now, though. We're just gonna win this. I don't think it's a speed tie. I think they're running modest. What do they have in the back? They do have a Tinglu in the back, but that's also fine. They stay in perfect, and we win the speed tie. Not hard. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They gotta be modest if they're going in scarf. I personally would still go timid, just because of all the boost energy mons running around. But yeah, they they are probably modest. Wait, is this glitch? Talking about glitch X City? No way. They don't play singles. Okay, they did bring this though. 
Uh, does plus one just two a KO? I don't think so. It does. Oh wait, that's not. That is not. Okay, Thirty seconds. I mean, I assume it does. Maybe it does. Grass. Oh, it does. I actually just tear grass here. I don't wait. I already tear it. Uh. Could be AV. Yeah, I've seen a few of them before. It's not though. They citrus berry. Oh, payback. Shout out Sash. Wait, this is AV. Maybe. Hey, get him out of here, coach. Bro, what a cool strategy, though. Oh, yeah, that was, that was, that was AV no split up investment. Yeah, that was AV no split up investment. Oh, my God, we're fighting somebody top 1,428. Oh, our Kelly Ice count, uh, la, 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 encounter. What's the word I was looking for? Kelly Ice siding? In, I don't know. Uh, they have somewhat of a similar team as the last guy did. Ice Horse spotted. That's what it was. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Sneezer, by the way. Yeah, this is a cool team. Wait, I'm actually curious. I have the database open. Let's see. Are these one of the top teams? Because a lot of people do the same. They, a lot of people use some of the top teams once they come out. This is not one of them. Okay. Never mind. Yo, what's good, Clocker family? How's it going, brother? I don't know what to do here. Because if they lead Sneasler, a fake out in a close combat will kill Archaladon. But a, a fake out in a close combat kills pretty much everything besides Ghost Horse. What is Iron Moth's moves? Do I have Psychic? I don't. I'm going to off with Iron Moth. No, that's dumb. This is probably a bad idea. We might lose this one, guys. Yo, what's good, Mr. Yerm? How's it going, brother? Welcome to the stream. We're currently undefeated, but we're about to lose our first battle. Depending on what they bring. Bro's got a hat on his helmet. Unmatched. Unmatched. But nah, they have a... They have a if I, I'm not Terra Ghost, am I? No, I'm Terra Steel. Yeah, like, I can't... I can't stop this from happening. Uh, unless I want to hard predict Fake Out and just go Calyrex. I guess I'll do it. Maybe there's Sash Sneasler instead. Taunt? This is Sash Leasler for sure. This is definitely Sash. Yep. T Spikes! No! They're gonna Dark Claw hacks me. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. I... Do I reveal Grass Knot in case they go hard Ting Lu? No, they shouldn't save this at all. They do! Oh, I should have Grass Knotted. This is fine. Oh, they went this. I should have Grass Knotted. I literally should have Grass Knotted. Okay. I should have Grass Knotted. Yeah, you're right. Um, but I think I'll still do it anyways. They might tear normal. The one night slash Sneasler. I usually run throat chop on Sneasler with Terra Dark, but this set is this set is different. This set is like just a lead taunt to toxic spike user. They probably just have dual stab, dire claw close combat. Oh? Oh, 
Oh my god, let's go. Ghost horse, goaded. They're not AV. Let's fucking go. They are not AV. Easy money. Goodbye, bear. Imagine having a ghost horse counter and then getting O code. Couldn't be me. Oh, fuck me. But speaking of ghost horses, I do have Focus Ash still. I do still have my Focus Ash. No Riz on that Blood Moon. <laughs> Another kill for the horse. Right, what's the horse kill count, by the way? It's got to be like 10 by now. Don't be Terra Normal. You're not Terra Normal. You're not Terra Normal. There's no shot you're Terra Normal. Terra Electric. We take those. Okay, perfect. That's what I ran when I did this. I ran Trick Room, three attacks. Terra Blast, Glacial Lance, and I don't remember the last move. I think it was Close Combat. Did they Trick Room? They did! Little does he know that I have a Focus Sash, buddy. I hate, I hate to do it to you. But it had to be done. Let me go check that for you. Yeah, it's so free. And then... So Sneasler's gonna outpace me because of Trick Room, but then I bring in Archaladon and I should outpace the Sneasler. So it's all good. Let's go. You love to see it, man. Ghost Horse is definitely the wave. Like, it allows you to win bad matchups because it's just a ghost horse. Also, shout out to Terra Grass. <laughs> Remember when you said you were going to lose this one? In my opinion, I should have lost this one, right? Like, if they brought... Like, if they were a regular... If they were, like, the normal gem Sneasler instead of Taunt Toxic Spikes, I lost. I lost. Let's go. I keep that thing on me. You know what I'm saying? Or should have gotten three the first game, but that D Knight forfeited. Oh, that's true. We've been having such good games so far. Hypersol. Got it. Okay. Um, the good news is Nasty Plot, this guy kind of wins. They do have a Grafai, which we have to get rid of. Yo, what's good, Kappa? How's it going, brother? The stall return, yeah. That's what high. Uh, this isn't like quote unquote high ladder, but it is like high enough ladder. Uh, a lot of players on high ladder runs <laughs> run like mad stall. It is what it is. Uh, the good news is uh, these two Pokemon are really good here, and I want to say Iron Moth is also really good, but at the same like just cause, just to absorb T Spike. But at the same time, I think I have to bring the Ghost Horse. Because I think I can... If they bring Aloe, I just nasty plot in front of that. ho -Oh feels unkillable? Nah, bro. You can kill ho -Oh, I believe. They decided their three immediately, though. So they know what the fuck they're doing. They led Grafai-Yai-Yai. So they're probably going to taunt me, if I had to guess. Or they're just going to get a T-Spike. Uh, regardless, I'm just going to Flash Cannon. Because if we can get rid of this for the Ghost Horse, that's huge. But let's see what they do. I don't even know if this thing gets T-Spikes, but I assume it does. Honestly, don't know. But I, it's a Poison type, you know? So it might. We're faster. Huge. They're Assault Vest. They're Knock Offing. My Custat Berry! No! Gen 3 music? Yeah, we um we caught since we caught all the legendaries, we unlocked all the music. Just gonna flash cannon again. Okay, it's not a Salves. I lied. I'd rather AV on this guy instead of the annoying prankster moves. True. Yeah, I thought I, I assumed it was AV because Flash Cannon did so little, but I guess it wasn't. Yeah, Ho -Oh is Terra Grass or Ground most of the time. I ran Terra Electric when I did it. But yeah, Terra Grass is really nice. I'm just going to click Thunder Wave here. If they Terra Ground, so be it. I don't care. Come on, man. Come on, man. Really? Watch me get burned. I'm going to get burned. Watch. This game's trash. 
This game is genuinely trash. 90% by the way. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, man. Now they're gonna Terra. Whatever. I'll just get up rocks. Game fucking trash, bro. This game is genuinely bad. <laughs> Uh, it would have been real nice if they missed Sacred Fire. That would have been cool, but no. Yeah, if it ain't 100% accurate, it's fucking 50% accurate, man. It either lands or it doesn't. You're thinking, though, now. They're like, do I Terra? Do I switch? What am I going to do? You need to stop telling the game how you're doing? Yeah, my bad. My bad for commentating. I understand. Go ahead and Terra Ground. Hair electric, cool. Can't miss stealth rocks. I mean, so like this being paralyzed didn't really matter, honestly, but it would have been nice. Um. Do I need to... Do I need to terrestrialize with the Ghost Horse? I don't think they had a ground type, right? Um... Maybe? No. Unless you miss a Stone Axe? Yeah, I, yeah that's why I'm at the Stealth Rock move. At least this should do some good damage to somebody. Whoever's switching in on this. Oh, wait. Okay, except for this guy. Man, imagine I U-turned. Oh, man. Oh, Terra Grass would have been good for this. I lose. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna forfeit. Oh, if I wasn't Scarf, they were fucked, by the way. I'm just saying. If I wasn't Scarf, they were actually fucked. I think I got a double switch if I want to try to win this. Yeah, 3v3s are very punishing. I got a double switch, I think. Here's the best case scenario. They miss Leech Seed right now, since I missed the goddamn fucking, what's it called? And then on the next turn, they click Knock Off. As I switch back into a Shifu. That's what I'm hoping that happens. But yeah, come on, man. I missed T-Wave. Let, 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 how about you miss a, th uh, a Leech Seed? Also, they're thinking so long and hard because they know that their second win condition is just stalling out the timer. That's what. That's how these. That's how these battles always go. <laughs> it's just how they go. Like they're not even thinking about their turn. They know what they're gonna do. Miss Leech Seed, please. Watch them raw knockoff. Of course they landed. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? They're so good at the game. Actually, I guess I could close combat too. Fucking man, this game sucks. Urshifu. Urshifu. I am Jolly. No black glasses. What's this Pokemon's name? Wochen. Whoa, Chen. Close combat does not kill. U turn also does not kill. Close combat is more. Oh, they were true! Okay. I mean, hope best case scenario they go back out into it. I don't think they will, but best case scenario they go back out into it. I think they're just going to stay in, though. The Wish Granter is an insane mark. On. Who do they have it on? I wasn't paying attention.
Oh, hello, okay. Stall at the timer for- yeah, a lot of people do it, Clark. You'd be surprised at how often it actually happens. It happens quite often, actually. This is also Serene Grace ho -Oh, by the way. Hey, what's good, Galadite? How's it going? Why'd I say Galadite? What's good, Migs? <laughs> About to see a grown man cry. I'm about to cry, dude. I'm fighting against Hyperstall Wo Chen. And I missed the fucking Thunder Wave. Not that the, I don't think the Thunder Wave miss honestly mattered, but it potentially gave me future hacks, and you know what I mean? So it does kind of low-key matter, but. Uh unless this is in range of CC, we kinda lose. I'm back and I see stall again. Yeah, Wyatt. It's 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 happens. It happens in this video game, unfortunately. But yeah, I don't know how much close combat. I don't know if close combat kills this, but if they stay in and it kills this, then I might win. All right. So we knock out the Grafia, I, I assume. The, the Wo Chen doesn't die. It only if it's defensive Wo Chen, we only do like sixty percent. So that's the only that's the only issue. But we'll see. Maybe they like become an idiot and click protect in front of me. That'd be great. Or they try to parting shot with Grafia. Let's crit Wo Chen. I actually I'm manifesting. Let's go. Yeah 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 yeah. We're gonna crit the Wo Chen. We we we're, we're, we're due for one. We're due for some positive hacks. But yeah, now they're definitely wasting the timer. Because they're like, oh no, I might lose. Uh, I gotta waste the timer. Uh. I don't know if Graf I don't know if Grafia is in range or not, but I assume it would be. What we do, one flash cannon? I think they got to like 70-ish percent. I'm gonna assume it's like bulky Grafia. Yeah, this thing doesn't even like... This is barely a 2 hit KO. On this, uh, on Wo Chen. If they're defensive. If they're spit F, then we might just knock it out. Never mind. Was that a crit? Nope, it was not a crit. We just better. Let's go. Get shit on. Get fucking shit on. Shout out to Mix. <laughs> yeah, two Sacred Fire Burns and a T Web. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was so crazy. This should die. It wasn't hard. Get the fuck out of my game. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Shout out to the chat for always having my back. I never believe, but I know you guys always believe in me.